a recent article appeared in the New York Times that was not to my liking. It basically stated that today's obesity is a function of environment and genetics, and that 94% of people who attempted to diet and exercise were unable to keep the weight off or to lose the weight to begin with. And that the one thing that actually worked was weight loss surgery, gastric bypass surgery. It makes me really question the New York Times, which published this column, whether or not this is a paid advertisement. And worse, I find it absolutely toxic, the message that they are trying to purvey. It is basically pummeling the public into a state of learned helplessness, that what we do is not our fault. Let me ask you, the, the fact that we have suddenly grown obese in society is because suddenly the golden arches appeared somewhere, and suddenly the gene recognized the golden arches and just suddenly started to express itself? No, it's because of what we put in our body on an ongoing basis. It's whether or not we exercise. Here in Thailand, where I'm filming this, seven years ago, you'd be hard pressed to find a fat person. Did over the last seven years, the fact that just the fat food restaurants were put into place and that sugar consumption went up, uh, did that suddenly make people fat? Yeah, eating, not the fact that it was put there. It's a choice. Everything in society, everything that we do, is a choice. And the fact that they're trying to create this victim mentality is toxic, is horrific. It is the antithesis of a human being and it's so insidious. It's just research or state. It's not your fault. Suddenly all these things come out that it's not our fault. We stop taking responsibility for ourselves and we stop being able to control our own lives. No wonder so many people are on Prozac. No wonder so many people are overweight. It's never my fault. It's a horrible thing for the New York Times to publish to say, and I'm sure that it is most likely a paid advertisement by the weight loss industry, by these really expensive gastric bypass surgery centers. And to me, it's very sad, and I, for one, am canceling my subscription to the New York Times because of it. So, I just want to counter their statements by asking you to take responsibility for yourself. Know that you have control over your life and don't let that be a burden. Let that be freeing. Free yourself of the shackles of the people that are trying to install this victim mentality into you. Bye bye New York Times. Everybody out there, eat well, have fun, and enjoy life.